Thanks for installing the property development system feasibility application. Uh, once you've installed it, the first thing that you've got to do is choose the kind of subscription that you would like. So if you click on subscribe, you can choose to choose any of these uh, subscriptions. If you choose all of them, um, you get a 20% discount and you've got a validation feasibility as well as a um, full scale uh, advanced financial feasibility application for property development. Uh, the difference between the two is that I use uh, for the validation feasibility 90% of the time and then we use uh, the detailed feasibility once we've uh, locked in the project. So uh, just a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Amber and I'm a property developer from Australia and uh, I'm, uh, I'm an expert at financial feasibility um, uh, for property development. And um, if you wanted to learn a little bit more about me, you can actually just go to propertydevelopmentsystem.com and then find out more about myself. Um, uh, so let's continue. So let's say you've uh, picked up any of these applications and I'll quickly show you how each one of them actually works. So um, with each of the applications that you pick up, there is a detailed in-depth training that's available uh, because this is not something that I can explain in five minutes. So this is only to show you how the how you can install and get going. So if you click on any one of these, you will actually end up on these pages where you'll see the details for each of these course. Now you don't have to enroll in these courses separately uh, because you've already bought the application and for one year you'll get, uh, you'll automatically be sent your login and password details uh, for this within the next 24 hours after you purchase that. So let's keep going. Um, so in here you've got all the details. That's what it looks like from inside. It has seven different modules. Uh, they talk about this is the validation feasibility. So it'll talk about what kind of uh, what is a good return and so on. So it goes so into a, a lot of detail with um, how the application needs to be used. How you can set up um, so it has theory some of the development so it has theory as well as all sorts of um, um, details about how the application is used and how you can actually um, put uh, these uh, input cells and how you can make them work so in here it talks about how all the videos uh, how how does the application work the same goes for the advanced feasibility, which is the FSF version um, that talks about um, all the different metrics that you can mention. You can even look at the course curriculum. Uh, you will be sent your access to these courses uh, um, within the 24 hours after you purchase the course automatically. So, so let's look at validation feasibility, which is number one in all of that. So this is the feasibility that you do on all your projects. And the way that works is that all you got to do is go to add-on, select validation FISO, and you are there. You click on create sheets and you give it a few seconds and um, it, it'll then create two sheets for you. One of them is actually an input sheet and the other one is your output sheet, which is your two minute FISO. This is like a two minute FISO. The two minute FISO would come out blank. The input sheet would come out um, um, with text in it. Everything that you see in blue is actually an input sheet. Everything that's black, that's um, an output sheet or would have a formula or I recommend that you do not uh, change that. So everything is controlled via these blue input cells. Once you've changed the values in them and um, you can figure out how, to, how, to, how each of these sections work, what are they for and what kind of impact uh, the, they have in the full detailed course that will be sent to you in the next 24 hours. And then you go into uh, your two minute FISO and you click on update FISO. And then you give it a few seconds and it'll do your calculation based on all the input values that you put in here. Uh, there is some stuff for you to go through here in terms of that. You'll get a message, values updated, and you click on two minute FISO and it has all your values in here. Let's look at um, the PDS FSF, which is the add-on number two, uh, which is the FSF stands for full scale FISO, which is your detailed uh, feasibility. And um, this would require a fair bit of training for you to understand um, what each of the metrics are, what do they mean, and what impact do they have. Uh, which is again uh, covered in the full course that is sent to you in the next in the next 24 hours. So all you have to do, whether you're from Australia or from uh, international, uh, you just select where you're from and you click on the um, on the add-on, 
and uh, you'll see uh, a menu pops up that talks about creating sheets, that talks about updating values, uh, calculating construction interest, and if you want to start over, you can delete the sheets and start over. So if you click on create sheets, uh, the process for the international version is exactly the same. Uh, whereas whatever the minute differences are in terms of taxing, um, like in Australia, we've got um, goods and services tax, uh, whereas that's not applicable in other parts of the world. Um, so all you have to do is select the one that you need, give it a few seconds, and you will have all your details and your input sheets start getting populated. Um, the same goes for um, this add-on as well. Um, everything that you've got in blue is an input sheet. Everything that every every blue in blue cell is actually customizable, so you can replace them with your own cost codes. Uh, come into your dashboard, uh, change the name of the details, uh, set your own parameters for the uh, for the feasibility, um, and then once you're ready, you click on update values. This section will update values up to a limit. That limit is that um, it would it would then depend upon um, your construction cost interest would then depend upon the values that you get from the first calculation, which is the update values. Once that is done, you will see that the entire values and the entire section here, which is your cash flow, it gets populated automatically. There are sections where you can collapse and expand. Um, for example, here you can uh, collapse these sections or you can collapse the entire section, for example, uh, right here. And uh, once these values are updated, you scroll down to the next section um, and you go right till the bottom um, to, um, to the finance section. Over here, um, as per the training, you will find out what these two values are. But for, for this, this quick video, I'm just going to show you. I can put in these values, which is my total development cost, and that is then used to determine the next set of calculations. And then you click on calculate construction costs, and this will then populate all your construction cash flows based on what's going out of your pocket and what your lender is actually going to uh, give you in terms of uh, your loan to value ratios and, um, um, and, and your approved loan or, or borrowed amount. Once that is done, these, this, your application is then complete. So all, all your calculations are done, everything is done. So all you have to do is basically fill out these forms fairly quickly. The main difference between the international version and um, the Australian version is this GST section. And um, I'll just quickly do a version for the international as well and show you uh, what that is. It doesn't include any GST. Um, so, um, uh, those calculations are done um, uh, for the international version, uh, excluding the GST um, um, details. Once you've got, you've got all your answers, and then you go into your project-related site value, which is, again, uh, only for the Australian version. And then you go into your bank summary that talks about uh, your development margin on the project, your development profit, your profit on the cost, and sensitivity analysis, how uh, how um, each one of these, if your costs were to uh, go up by uh, in 5% increments and your sales were to fall down by five, in 5% brackets as well, um, what that impact would have on your development. So uh, it does that for the profit, the development margin, and also the return on equity. Um, that you were expecting from the project. So your sensitivity analysis, your details for calculating net present value, internal rate of returns, uh, return on equity, and so on, all these details are here. Uh, the difference between development summary and the bank summary is that uh, if you're putting in money into the project, there is some money uh, required for you to um, uh, allow for uh, in terms of interest. So what is the cost of your money? And that's the main difference. All these details are actually covered in the full course that you will be sent access to in the next 24 hours after you purchase the course. And each one will be explained um, uh, what it does, uh, the impact it has, and it explains you everything. If you don't know anything about net present value or internal rate of returns and so on, you don't have to worry about it because the course access that you will get will have all these details available for you. 
and that's how you actually use the score so this will quickly do the international version as well so if you clear your sheets wait for the sheets to uh, to get populated so once you've updated your values in your international version um, the same thing happens and then you've got a bank summary and a developer summary so if you click on that um, and you'll find that you've got uh, exactly the same details here um, except for that there is no details about or reference to the GSC section so you'll also see that um, in the international version uh, that you've got you all your um, uh, GSC sections are all blanked out and they're all um, hidden so you don't really need to do anything uh, about them or uh, worry about that so um, that's in a nutshell I'll see you in the proper training